Hi everyone, it's Jojo from Mojo Jojo Plants, and today we are going to be doing an unboxing together of some new planners that I ordered for 2025. These planners are actually from Planner Envy. I've never used one of their planners before, and to be honest, I feel like I've heard that name before, because um, I think Planner Envy has been around for a hot second. Um, and I think I just like got like a random ad somewhere and then I was like, oh, those are fun. Um, and I'm kind of in like a phase where I want to try some new planners and see if I want to start using new ones. Um, and the thing that drew me to this one is that they have a disc, they have like a disc bound option. So I was like, okay, because I don't think I'll ever be able to give up my love for discs. Um, so I was like, as long as I can stay disc bound, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to unbox these and look at the planners that I ordered. Because I'm going to be completely honest. I don't remember. This was a pre-order. Okay, there's two boxes in here. So here's what they look like. They're like in such nice packaging. Oh, I just lost all the freebies to the floor. Some little freebies that were, I opened the packaging upside down. So. Duh. Okay, so there's a couple freebies in the box along with like my little packing slip. Um, so it came with some fun freebies. So here's what those look like. I think they have like a subscription box because it says sign up by the 20th to get the next box. Um, I don't know. I don't know the 20th of what though. So I'm assuming it means um, of November maybe because I'm sure they already have November. So I bought two planners. Don't ask me why I bought two planners. Honestly, I couldn't decide which planner I wanted. Um, and so I was like, I'm just gonna get them and then we can try them out. One of them is a sig their signature and then the other one is a vertical because you know I love my verticals. Um, but I'm really excited to just kind of like see what these are like because again, I have been using a happy planner for I think I'm going on like eight years now so I just like I haven't really adventured into new new planners that I like really stuck with so I'm really excited to see what these look like so look at this packaging it's like boxes within boxes within boxes so here's our third box and then this box is protected <laughs> they just really make you work for your planner I mean this is good because it just means it's like super protected and this box is really cute. Ooh, and it's like real soft. I feel like it has like a good smell, but maybe I'm tripping. Okay, so this is the first planner that I got. Or maybe I should say one of the planners because I genuinely don't remember which one I added to the cart first. And I don't remember why I was like, oh, let me just add another planner to the cart. Like, I don't remember what I did. Okay, sorry. That was super loud. And just for size comparison, this is much bigger than a happy planner. So if you're not a fan of like a bigger planner, maybe not for you. So here's a happy planner, classic size. And then here's the planner envy planner. Um, they do have the same amount of discs, which I feel like is interesting because they definitely had room to like have an extra disc if they wanted to kind of switch that up but that also means you can easily insert any happy planner things that are the nine discs into this planner and it'll fit just fine um so that's good to know okay so this is the signature layout i chose this cover it just looked really pretty so i was like i'll go with that one and here's the black it comes with some like rose gold um metal discs I like that it has like this little thing that can just slide off. So here's the intro page, organizing the life of me. Okay, this might be like our month at a glance kind of thing. It has January through December and then it has enough boxes for every single month. So you could go through and designate stuff for each box. Maybe you need to write things down if you like to plan for the entire year. I like that it's just like blank and then I can just use my data stickers to kind of like go in and personalize them. All right, it looks like we get a bucket list for 2025 and it says the big one and you have places to go, things to try, things to work on, things to experience. And then next year, 
And then we have how I rate my books and movies. So you can write the title and the, the ratings. That would be fun for um, going to see like new movies and stuff. Then we have important contacts, passwords. You know, we're always having to change our passwords. So we're going to have to write them down. And the paper in this is real nice. It's definitely like a, it honestly feels pretty similar to the 90 pound cardstock, like white paper that I use for my daily sheets. It feels pretty similar to that. So it is a really nice, sturdy um, paper. So if the paper gets you, it's a really nice paper. Okay, so this is the first tab. So you don't get a decorative tab, which I'm like, oh, that's kind of sad. But I do like that this is super neutral. Um, I picked the ones that didn't really have a lot of color in them. Um, and I don't remember, honestly, if there were options where it was like colorful on the inside. So at January 2025, you have priorities, goals, important dates and birthdays, and then a place for notes. Here's our monthly, pretty simple, again, nice and neutral. And then, oh, nice. So you're literally getting a little bit of everything in this planner, which I think is really cool. We have a self-care and health section for the month of January, and it has your trackers in here for you. Oh my gosh. And then we even have budget and finances in here. So literally has everything for you. You don't have to go and buy all the separate planners and all the things like it literally is putting them in here for you every single month. And then this is the layout. So I was just super curious about this layout. I thought this would be really fun. Um, honestly for like social and just like work stuff. Um, so that's kind of why I chose this one. I figured this would be a really good layout for that. And I'm really curious to see how this works. So you have Monday through Sunday. Maybe this could be for like specific things or you could write the days of the week um, or not the days, like the numbers there. I don't necessarily know what that would be for, um, but it looks like you get a tracker and then it has like little things that you can tick off. Each um, day has a to-do list and then they're lined. So decorating this would definitely be interesting for me. This probably would be one I wouldn't decorate. I mean, I'm willing to try, but I probably wouldn't decorate this one. Not like I would like my happy planner, obviously, because the layout just doesn't really allow for that. So you get all of those. And then at the end, you get some notes pages. You'd be jotting things down throughout the weeks um, and then like plugging them in where you need them or things that you need to plug in later. And then there's dot grid on the back. And then you go into your whole next month. And then again, you get your monthly and then the self-care, health, and budget. I really like that it's just giving you all of those things. And again, this whole planner is completely neutral. And there's like no, there's no de designs and decorations in here. Honestly, I could do like, I could see doing like fun decorating on like the blank pages just to like give it a little bit more pizzazz, you know? I'm really liking this planner though. Okay, so let's get to the end of this one. So we're at the end. We're on December 2025. Ew. We're not there yet. We're not there. Oh, and then at the end of the month, or is this at the end of the week and I just missed it? Oh yeah, there's like notes and then it has like a little thing for next week. So maybe you could put something that you're looking forward to or something coming up. So that's fun. It looks like they put holidays up at the top so they're not taking up the space like in your actual box. So that's cool. Okay, again, at the end, we're getting a couple pages of note paper, lined note paper, and then we have a doodles and ideas section where you're just getting some blank sheets of paper. Again, great for decorating. And that is it. I, I really, really like this planner. Um, again, I think the only downside it is, it is really big. It is um, 8.75 by 10 is the paper. I don't know if that's the cover though. Um, so it is pretty big. Again, this is in comparison to a happy planner. So, I mean, it's not that much bigger. Um, I would say it's still smaller. Where's my big planner? It's still smaller than a big size. I feel like it's as wide as a big, but not as tall. Yeah. It's as wide as a big planner, but not as tall as a big planner. So hopefully that kind of helps you figuring out the size wise it's in between that but I am in love with everything that you get in this planner okay I'm excited now so let's look at the vertical one because I'm hoping that'll be one because I don't I don't see myself doing like full-blown spreads um, on the weeklies in this one I think my brain just like doesn't work that way 
Obviously, I would still add some cute stickers here and there, but I just don't know how well it would work to actually, you know, decorate the way I would in my happy planner. But let's see what the horizontal, oh my gosh, not horizontal, the vertical looks like. So this one's the purple hydrangea. Um, the other one was called cool hues so i got this one because obviously this was like the only like purplish one <laughs> i don't think it's like completely purple but it was called purple hydrangea and i really do like those flowers so i was like why not let's try it again it comes in all the boxes this one has rose gold discs as well i would say this one's more on the pink side than purple but I'm also the one that's like super picky when it comes to all things purple. I'm like, that's not purple. <laughs> it does have like a nice, like there's some lavender in there. I see it, but I definitely am getting like more pink vibes than anything. This one is really pretty. So again, it says 2025 has a planner envy rose gold discs. This one has rose gold foil on it. This one is a vertical layout and there's the back cover. Okay, so I think this one's going to be pretty similar as far as the fact that there's no designs on the inside. It's just like your base, like you're just getting the main stuff. If you, There's so much room though that I feel like you could very easily go in and just like decorate it to like make it match your personality. Um, so again, those month at a glance, I think everything except the actual layout is going to be the same. You have the bucket list, the books and movies, contacts, passwords. Um, this looks like to be the same. The dashboard page the monthly page we still get the self-care and health budget and finances all right and here is the layout i'm i could see myself decorating this it it would definitely be a learning curve um because you know i'm used to blank boxes i'm also used to my boxes all connecting um so these all have spaces but i feel like you get so much room in here um we have like the monday through sunday again maybe you can use that for like meal planning things to do, priorities, you have your tracker, um, the next week. So it has all the same elements. It's just laid out just a little bit differently. Um, I could see myself decorating this one week to week. I definitely think it'll be a learning curve, um, but I am really excited for it. So that's this layout. This one again is called the vertical layout. The first one was the signature, which I think is like their like specialty version and then again at the end you're getting the notebook um like lined paper and then you get the doodles and ideas with a couple pages to do your doodles and ideas or maybe you just want to play with stickers whatever that looks like and it's the nice thick like kind of card stocky paper this paper ain't thin i mean you can still see through it like you could see things printed on the other side um but that's just because it's black but this is a very like hard stocky paper like it's thick it's some thick paper i mean even in comparison like happy planner like thickness compared to that and they're both 2025 20, only this one's so much thicker because the paper is just the paper is thick so there you go i am super excited i don't know which one i feel like this one would definitely i think i would lean towards like businessy stuff and i don't know i might play with this one i might be doing a lot of double spreads in 2025 trying to just play because i think this is one i'm going to have to get used to using but i really love the vibes of this this is really a great system i think if you're not necessarily in it for the decorations because there's zero decoration on the inside but i do really like the fonts that are on the inside and this just gives you like if you want to be a little bit more creative maybe use the inks um washi tape you know your own markers you like to doodle you can add in your own little things i think this one definitely gives you a lot of leeway to just kind of have fun and decorate your planner exactly how you want it without having to worry about other things in the way um i think this is a really great planner for that and again it is a little bit bigger than a classic size happy planner but if that doesn't bother you i mean this for me would be something that doesn't leave my office like it would just stay at home so it's not like i would be traveling with it um but yeah i'm really excited i've been wanting to try some new planners for a long time um and these are the ones that just stood out for me it was this layout i just thought was so interesting 
And so I'm so curious to see if I can implement this um, into my life. But I just wanted to show you guys some new things that I'm getting as I'm starting to prep for 2025. Um, I'll link the website for these down below. I believe they're no longer a pre-order. I think you could just go in. And I think the last time I looked, they were on sale now. Um, maybe, I don't remember. And I think some of them have sold out. And I think there's different sizes. I don't know. I don't remember if it's just this size or if they have um, some other sizes available. But there are other layouts. I think there was a horizontal um, so definitely just go and check it out if having just like basically a blank slate planner where you can just go in and I think the quality and even just like the packaging is just amazing. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.